All right, I'm about done. I need to finish this video and then I need to get myself on a home. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching some videos. I know you're not probably not done for the day, but I am. So let's just get this one last video done. What I have is six and three fourths equals R over three. So what I'm gonna do here is remind myself that remember when solving for a, a variable, an unknown, which is R in this case, I just need to undo the operations that's happening to it. And a lot of us freeze once we see division because we, it's just not as common, so we kind of freak out. Well, remember, the, to undo division, I need to multiply. So I'm not going to use purple because that's what I already wrote the problem in. I am going to use blue. So I multiply by 3 on both sides. So by multiplying by 3 on both sides, um, I now 3... I have a 3 over 1. So 3 over 1 times r over 3, the 3's are going to equal 1 as 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 1 times r equals r. Now I need to figure out how do I multiply a number times a mixed number. Well, it's really important for us to understand that you can convert the mixed number to a decimal and multiply it or to an improper fraction. To convert it to an improper fraction, I just multiply my denominator times the whole, which is 24, and then add the numerator. So I'd have 3 times 27 over 4. And then what I simply do is now I can take my whole number, change it to a fraction, and multiply across, which would be 81 over 4, which equals r. Now we could simplify this to 20.25, depends on your teacher or what the question is asking, um, equals r as well. But the main important thing that we understand that is 81 divided by 4 is the solution, or 20.25 is the solution that makes this equation true.